What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we have an eight video series coming out for you where we're going to be reviewing all the skills from the SSI Open Water Diver Program. Now the first seven of these videos are simply going to be broken up into groups. So you're going to see all the different skills in their individual groups. And then the eighth video will be a full-on compilation video of all the skills so that you can review them at any time. Now, please do not use this video as a way for you to train and go out and dive. Simply use it as a review. Please make sure that you're following the instructions of your local SSI open water scuba instructor before you go out and try to do any of these skills. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into video one. Now the first skill that we're going to look at is called the controlled seated entry and this is a fun and safe method to enter the water when you can't really see what's below the water surface. You're going to simply sit on the edge of the pool or the dock or even a boat and look below you to make sure there's no hazards. You're going to simply lean over and ease yourself down into the water. Of course once you're down into the water make sure you give a big okay to the surface or the boat crew. Now the next skill that we're going to look at is called the giant stride entry. The giant stride entry is the most common entry method that all scuba divers do. You want to make sure you have your mask on, your regulator in your mouth, and you also want to make sure that your BC is inflated. Your other hand is going to hold any loose items, maybe spear guns, cameras, things such as that sort. Make sure you always look below you for any type of hazard and stare off into the horizon as you simply stride off into the water. This is not a hump, this is not a jump, this is simply a stride. Once you're down in the water, you're going to pop right back up because of the air that's in your BC and then make sure you signal to the surface crew or the boat crew that you are okay. Now the next skill that we're going to look at, of course, is the rollback entry. And the great thing about this entry is you can do this from a seated or a standing position. Of course, you want to make sure your regulator is in your mouth and your mask is on. Secure both with one hand while your other hand protects the back of your head. Of course, you want to scan around, make sure there's no hazards that you're going to roll back to, and make sure you put plenty of air in your BCD. Now once you get into position, you want to tuck your head, squat down, and of course, simply roll backwards. Once you are in the water, your body's going to auto correct itself and as you pop back up to the surface make sure you signal that you're okay to either the boat crew or the surface crew looking after you. Now the first exit that we're going to look at is called the deep water exit without fins. You're going to simply swim over to the ladders grab on with one hand and remove that fin. Now it's a fun little fact here, if you use your left hand to balance, take your left fin off. When you use your right hand to balance, make sure you take your right fin off. Then of course you can either hand them up to the boat crew, put them on the side of the dock, or in the case here, just put it on the edge of the pool. You also want to make sure that you leave your mask on and your regulator in your mouth in the unlikelihood event that you were to fall back in the water. Now make sure you lean in towards the ladder as you climb and hit every step. This will make sure that you don't trip on the way up. Once you're up and out of the water, you should be good to go. Then the last exit that we're going to look at is virtually the same, except this time we will be climbing with our fins. A lot of times in heavier currents, you might want to keep your fins on you just in case if you were to fall back in the water, you could very easily slide your fins right back on and of course propel yourself through the water. Now do be careful when you do this, especially if you're in the ocean and the waves are very high. You want to make sure you got a good secure grip on that ladder so that you don't drop your fins or so that ladder doesn't hit you. Now as you can see here, I just simply slid the fins on my wrist and I'm walking up, hitting every step, leaning in towards the ladder with my mask on and my regulator in my mouth. So there you go guys, that's going to do it for video one in this series where we're reviewing all of the SSI open water program skill sets. Now we really hope this video helps you pass your open water program. We also hope it's a great review if you are already a certified diver, but please do not use this video as a way for you to go out and go scuba diving. Make sure you're seeking out proper training from your local SSI open water scuba instructor. But stay tuned, we've got video number two coming out where we're going to be looking at all the different regulator drills you need to know to be a safe and confident diver. But until our next video, Take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.